Hello everyone, it is Friday, January 20th, 2023, and we are at Universal Studios. We're about to go purchase our first annual pass and go check things out. Join us. So here at Universal, we have the moving sidewalks. We're gonna enter into City Walk to, to check on our, uh, what we gotta do to get an annual pass. Right when you first come in, there's two golf courses right on the right. Well, it looks like the Universal Orlando Resort sign is back up. I know this is really my first time here, but I was here last week at City Walk and that sign was down. So, it's up. All right, let's go check on an annual pass. Well, we're in line to get annual passes. All right, that's it. We are now official annual pass holders here at Universal with no block out dates. <laughs> We've got the Premier Pass. I am excited. Let's go explore before we we have to go to uh, Festival of the Arts in a little while, but let's go explore. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. All oh, the places you will go. There is fun to be done. The Circus McGurk is the world's greatest show. On the face of the earth or wherever you go. On top of five balls to tennis, three golf. It's a marvelous trip if I say so myself. You can have them for $3 each. Just pay them your money and hop right aboard. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do. I like them, Sam. I am. I like these green eggs and hams. Those stars weren't so big, they were really quite small. You might think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. Fix it up, Jackie. Get fixing up snitches. Then when every last cent of their money was spent... No, 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 no. You can't teach a snitch. But McBean was quite wrong. And no kind of snitch is the best on the beaches. That day all the snitches forgot about stars. Unfortunately, that's the only time we have to explore. We have to get ready to leave for Epcot so we can go to our first ever Festival of the Arts. I am so excited. Hello everyone, it is Friday, January 20th, 2023, and we are at Epcot about to go into the International Festival of the Arts. I'm excited, I've always wanted to do this. We are finally here. We have a lightning lane for Remy. We have a lightning lane for Guardians of the Galaxy, or boarding pass, and I think we also have one for Frozen later on. Lots of eats, lots of art. Let's go in and have some fun. Join us. Welcome to the 2023 International Festival of the Arts here at Epcot. in line to get our pass holder magnet which is Dumbo out here at the creation shop. You can get in pictures here. It's it's really cool. So we have the chalk. lines our stairs going down and this is a ramp. Cool. It picks it up that way too. It's really cool. Yeah. I love 
like the way the pool tubes look like they're squeezing out the paint and it's on the flowers. It's really cool. It's Over here at the Painted Panda, it looks like we're going to try the Silk Road Hard Lemonade. Maybe we'll come back at some point and try the Sea Butterfly. But we're going to get ready to get to our Fast Pass. And give him Coconut the sugar the at least we're walking. That drink was really good, by the way. Um, that, that sugar on the room was like a coconut. But fruity and tropical. Not very strong, but not bad. So we're heading on to Guardians right now, and I can tell you right now, of all the times we've been on it, September is still eluded us. So hopefully this will be it. It's the first time of the new year for me. My wife just had some magic happen. Cast member just gave her her bottle of water for nothing. Pretty cool. Doesn't seem too bad for a Friday early evening. It doesn't seem bad at all. Maybe I'm just used to the holiday crowds, but it just doesn't seem bad at all for the beginning of a, of a new festival. It's only been up for a week. We got a lightning lane for Ratatouille. We're going to head in there now. We're just making it. for the figment uh, popcorn bucket. We're going to go pick that up and I think we're going to try to start checking out some of the festival here. Picking up the bucket at pickup location number three. We'll see how this works. Just push down. Hello, friends. Hello, how are you? Good. Good boy. What was the name on your order? I can. Perfect. And to open him up, you're just gonna tap his nose and his back's gonna pop right open, okay? Inside Figment's inspiration station, you can, they, there's all kinds of prints that are for sale. Besides picking up your popcorn bucket and the food that's offered here, there's a lot of prints that you can get in the middle. It's, it's pretty nice. Mr. Toad. And there's a pigment popcorn bucket. It comes with... Yeah, they do Rainbow popcorn in the back, and it's got the Epcot 40 strap around it. So this is the figment, the figment munchling, figment pins. We've got the mug. Inside it says Festival of the Arts 2023. Yeah. Sorry, intern now. And, and on the back, there's a little chalkboard that you can add your own little art to it. Pretty nice. How much was that? And we've got the Passover shirt. It's, it's a limited edition um, 
Festival of the Arts. Magic pen. It's not a magic mm -hmm. pen. Plus, interesting. It's the menu of the here is the fried whole soft shell crab. It looks amazing. Apparently, you can eat everything, including the shell. And then we have the compressed watermelon. I can't wait to try both of these. I see wasabi at the end here. I'm not a fan of that. We're going to give it a try. All right, the watermelon. It's good. It tastes like watermelon, but it almost doesn't. I'm going to try it with a little of the wasabi. Oh my god. Absolutely horrible with the wasabi. I'm going to try a piece of the crab. I'm going to get a little bit of everything. The crab. The slaw, and even though I don't like the boba, the boba. There's a big thing, it's good. Here we go. I'm not a fan of boba, but this boba does give it a bright, bright, really good, yeah, what a good thing, the boba. Yeah, it's really good. The watermelon's all right. Definitely come here and get the crab. It's, it's real good. Right, we are at the Craftsman Courtyard, and it looks like we're going to try the beef, is good. beef wellington. <laughs> here it is, the beef wellington. All right, Karen. Yes, let's be clear. I, this is a small. Yeah, there were, no, there were no forks. And now we're just puppy free. It, it, it falls apart. It's really good. It's really good. It's such a cool cook. in my own piece of We got a lightning lane for Soren, so we're going to head down there and take a ride around the world. Items in the undersea compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties.
into Star Wars. Yeah. This is definitely not great. <laughs> We have an 810 Lightning Lane for Frozen Ever After. So we're gonna try to hit another booth or so before we head over there. We're just walking around World Showcase. All right, we're over here with the refreshment outpost. I think I'm gonna try the plant-based rock. Brought. The impossible brought. I like it. I think it's really good. I got some mustard and relish to put on top of it, but I don't even know where you would put it. It comes with so much stuff on it. It's really, really good. Definitely a great option for vegetarians. We have a lightning lane for Frozen Ever After. We just got about nine minutes or so before we can clock into it. I think we're going to do that and head out of here and call it a night. Well, that's going to do it for us here at the Festival of the Arts. Um, we're going to have to come back. There's just so much that we didn't get to see or do. I um, didn't even get to do the paint-by-number mural. But we'll come back. There's a lot more food to eat, a lot more art to see, a lot more um, performances to see. We'll, we'll definitely be back. But anyways, thanks for joining us tonight. And we will see you soon. I think tomorrow we're going to hit Universal and explore that. So hopefully you'll join us then. As always, make every day an adventure. <laughs>